Okay, so new, happy new year for everyone, first of all. Um, so here in Germany, just before I fly back home to Australia, and we've got uh, Mega 65 Pre-Series machine number one, uh, my own. We've also got one of the, uh, the V64 Maxis here. And quite different machines in this whole kind of space. We actually really love, obviously we love what we're making, but we actually really love that this is it out as well, that this is going to be, it already is in fact much cheaper than we could make something like this. But there are always trade-offs involved in these things. So I think as people know, there's no cartridge port, there's no real joystick ports, it's USB. Uh, there is a, a few different things that they've had to make trade-offs. The, the keyboard is quite functional. Uh, and again, for the price is great, but the uh, you know it's still not really a competition in our view to the, uh, the full mechanical keyboard of the, um, uh, the Mega 65 and that we can plug in real Commodore disk drives and you know all of these sorts of things with having the, um, uh, the full set of ports. Pre-series lacks a user port, but that will be on the, uh, the final version one way or another. Um, so we thought, because uh, people have been talking a bit about the, uh, the boot time of the, um, the V64, which, you know, honestly, they've actually done a pretty good job given that it's with emulation. It's down, our estimation is about 14 seconds. Um, but we thought we'd just do a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison with the Mega 65. So if I get here ready on the, um, the two power switches. So the Mega 65 is straight into basic. Uh, the V64, we're still waiting to get that. Oh, we have the boot thing there. Um, but I can actually already be in and I can load something up on the, uh, uh, the Mega 65 here before the, um, the V64 has even managed to get uh, to basic. So it's just the difference of um, uh, emulation versus real hardware that, you know, the, the extra cost that goes into something like the Mega 65 lets us have these extra connections and lets us have the, uh, you know, the, the realistic kind of boot time that we remember uh, from these things as we're growing up. So, yeah. Thanks for watching again. Happy New Year to everyone. And uh, we look forward to sharing more news about the Mega 65 as the year progresses.